Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. The Republican National Committee issued a scathing analysis of the party's electoral failures today. And we're going to dissect that document shortly. But first, we've got editorial page editor Paul Gigo here to talk about another big news event that did not get that much attention, the Obama administration's U-turn on missile defense. Um, Paul, got to love it when the administration drops big news on a Friday. Um, what, it's been known to happen. Yeah, great for us journalists. Um, <laughs> what provoked this uh, change of heart on missile defense? Well, I think that the recognition that uh, uh, there's a growing threat from ICBMs, nuclear tipped perhaps, from, uh, from the likes of Iran and North Korea, and that uh, uh, we have to address that threat. And it's increased in that immediate to the homeland. But uh, many analysts believe that North Korean missiles can already target Alaska and Hawaii. It's only a matter of time before it looks like they will have the ability to put nuclear weapons on those missiles. And before too long, uh, they'll be able to go uh, intercontinental. So we have to meet that threat. So it's, and it's not just the west coast of the United States. It's <laughs> also our allies in Asia Pacific, uh, sure. Japan, uh, even Australia, which is very, very far south, uh, also within the range here. So Defense Secretary Hagel says he's installing 14 additional ground-based missile interceptors at Fort Greeley. Um, and is, both, the, both the Alaskan and the uh, uh, California site, they'll be mixed between the two. Is that all we should be doing here, or is there more we could do? No, but I, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, this administration basically stopped those deployments in 2009. Remember, these two sites in California and Alaska were developed under the Bush administration. Obama came in and said, well, that's it. We don't need any more, even though there had been a plan to add... Um, the additional missiles, additional interceptors, and a plan to deploy a third site in, in Europe. And he scuppered that uh, and uh, as well. At the behest of Putin? Well, it was part of the negotiation with Putin. We knew that Putin didn't like those sites, or there's a radar site and an and a interceptor site. So they got rid of those, and that led the way to the arms control deal that they negotiated with with Putin. It's part of the reset of relations with Russia. Um, but yes, there's more we could do, and I'm happy to talk about what more we could do on yeah, missile defense. You know, I'm hearkening back to the Reagan era and Star Wars, sort of space-based interceptors <laughs> or uh, things well, like that. Uh, you know, what are the other technologies that we could deploy here to protect the likes of California? Well, there are some missile defenses, theater missile defenses, that are based on Aegis cruisers. We've got some in the northern Pacific, I mean, in the northwest Pacific, and we've got some in, uh, I think we've got one in the eastern med. In Japan, I think uh, we gave some to Japan. So, the, I mean, that's, you want a layered defense. That's what we, you know, you can, if, if the first layer doesn't get it, <laughs> second, third can. Uh, I think we need to do more in the boost phase mm. so that we get missiles not while they're coming down, <laughs> kind of the last ditch effort, but while they're going up. Uh, we should do more on space technology. Uh, but I think fundamentally we also need a third site in the east, on the east coast. And that's to block against uh, a potential strike from Iran. The, the, the site in Europe was designed, supposed to be that kind of protection, but now the administration also announced on Friday it's not going to, it's not going to deal it's not going to uh, deploy that uh, defense against intercontinental ballistic missiles till well past 2014. We need a bigger effort and an earlier effort on the East Coast. Does Iran have that capability now to hit uh, where we're sitting in New York? No, not yet, but it's developing it. It has, uh, I forget the exact range, but the, they have their missile uh, ranges include now Europe, much of Europe, uh, and uh, I think it's going to grow over time. And of course they want to get the ability to strike the United States. They would love nothing better than to be able to say, you want to stop us from invading this or that country? Uh, uh, your own capital cities are, uh, uh, are at risk. Okay, well, at least a positive development out of the White House for once to talk about.